Hi there, Phoebe. Hi there. Um, so how did it feel signing your first professional contract? Um, I was absolutely delighted. I think for me, it wasn't something I was expecting. Um, I know with my season I had, I could have done a bit better. Um, but obviously being new to the squad, being new to the environment, it's obviously going to be a challenge. Uh, but yeah, from when I was a little girl, it's always been a dream to sign a professional contract. Obviously when I was younger, it'd be England. But now the funding with the women's game... Uh, it's it's uh, exceptional to see how many people can actually get contracts in regional stuff. Fantastic. And you've had a bit of a magical season in a way, finishing at Lords. What was it like stepping out onto the hallowed turf? Oh, again, it was a dream. I think something I wasn't expecting to do at 19 um, and as well to be part of it with some of my best friends. That's a great memory you can always take, but definitely something ticked off a bucket list. Um and even better to get the win as well. And sort of during that game, did, did you always think we could win this? We've got this. Yeah, and like I say, I can bow back everyone 110%. I think it's different because Northerners, we just get to have that great determination. Um, and I think everyone who played that part, you had the back from all the team, like I said, 100%. So yeah, I definitely had that heart. and like drive to think, yeah, we're going to win this. And previously you've had to juggle work-life balance. How has your life changed now with this professional contract? Oh, it's a lot more easier. Um, like I said, I'm coming to the sessions all every day, well, most days anywhere, except Wednesday, because our Wednesday is the day off. But yeah, I think that's great. Um, when I was at work, I found it really hard to get to training. So I'd have to do a bit extra at night. Um, but now when I'm coming in without actually worrying about work, um, what I used to work as as a PE teacher and my work is now a professional cricketer, I think it's amazing. And yeah, and, um, have you decided on a squad number and any sort of sort of reasonings behind that? Yeah, so I've picked 17. I had 17 last year um, and it's just due family reasons really. Um, it's quite special, so I'm going to stick with that. Yeah. Are you able to give us an insight into behind that family. Yeah, so sadly when I was 14, my brother passed away. Um, so 17's kind of been a number that's kept on and there's lots of signs that we have that link to 17. So I think that's really special for me and I can always wear that with a lot of pride. That's fantastic. Yeah. And um, you, you've managed to hone some of your skills with Yorkshire Cricket College. Can you tell us a little bit about your journey with Yorkshire Cricket College? Yeah. Um, I think when we when I joined, there was obviously me, Jess and Grace, and we were the first girls to actually finish the whole course. And I think having that training scheduled every week, um, S and C, um, technical, tactical stuff, I think that was great with our progression. Whereas we would never have got that in a normal college. We went to a sixth form college. Whereas here it's different. And as well with that, with the work that you get, um for assignments, it all you can all link that to cricket. So that plays a huge part as well in the development, your mind and mindset towards the game. Fantastic. And we've got, you know, lots of women coming through the college. How how did the college support women and did you feel just just like everyone else? Yeah, I think it's obviously when you first start it's quite weird because you think, oh, all the boys are looking at you. But actually that everyone's so welcoming and um, and like I said, I think hopefully like me, Jess and Grace have inspired more girls to get in, into the college. And I, like I said, with the conversation I've had with the others um, who have been to the college or are at college now, they're really enjoying it, which is really great to hear. And did you have some highlights from college? What were the best bits for you? I think for me, it's just the cricket. I think, like you say, I think having different coaches into your routine, I think that was great because you get different uh, comments about your game that you can link to now and that's really helped me. But uh, did did the facilities here help that transition to play for the oh, Diamonds? Yeah. yeah, I think you look now and you're playing the exact same facilities that the Diamonds do. So it's that progression as as a whole really. So I think that's great and I think hopefully the girls who are at college now, if they can aspire to be part of the Diamonds, they know what it will be like and the facilities that they'll train in. So that's great. Fantastic. And what are you looking forward to this season? Have you set yourself some aims and goals? Um, I think I'm just looking forward to just being, like I said, a full-time cricket. I think I'm still not 
with it, yeah, I'm just still like, it's so crazy, lots of mixed emotions. Um, but I'm just excited for actually always being there with the squad and not being like, oh, I'm at work today, I've got my PE teacher, and actually, no, this is my job. Um, so I think that's really cool. And hopefully, I'd like to be part of the 100. Um, but I think that just, it just needs to be hard work, um, really focus on my game, um, and make sure I'm cashing each and every session I have. Brilliant. And have you set yourself any long term goals now that you've got your professional contract? Could could it be England one day? Yeah, that is that's been a dream, like I say, having that England contract, that would be the be all end all me. I'd love it. Um I think also being in the women's big bash in Australia, that would be another great goal. Um but yeah, them them three are the main really, hundred now, big bash in England. Um and yeah, now with the diamonds, hopefully I can keep continuing that with the professional contract. But and if there's some sort of young girls out there, sort of dreaming about playing cricket, what what would you say to them? And can they dream high? Yeah, I think now with the funding, you can you're you're able to go further more quickly, and um, especially the pathways now. And there's lots of different ways that they can get into cricket: all stars, dynamos, and then there's these MCC hubs. So yeah, for me when I was younger, we didn't I didn't really have that. It was kind of just getting with the boys and kind of start the hard work from there where now there's lots of girl cricket clubs um around Yorkshire and around all the different uh, regionals. So I think that's great with the development. Um and yeah, it's something that I would definitely inspire girls to. Hopefully they can do what I'm doing now.